things that are scarier at night. Oh, schools. Uh, all right. <gasps> oh, heck no. What the heck? There's somebody back there. There's somebody back there in that school, in, in that hallway. Is that what your school looks like at night? Like, comment down below. Let me know. If that's what your school looks like at night, then you need to transfer. Go to a boarding school. Go anywhere else. There are demons in that hallway that are about to ask you for the homework. But yeah, today we're gonna be checking out some creepy videos. If you enjoy these videos, then go ahead and smack that like button. I post new ones every day at 3 p.m. Pacific, so make sure you come on back tomorrow. And please just do it now, pause the video, and subscribe to my gaming channel, Yeah Matt Smith. Just click that first link in the description below. And let's go! Can I show you a scary video? Can you show me a higher IQ? <laughs> Slight trigger warning because this video did jump scare me. This is another Japanese ghost video, oh, no. so I really don't have any more information on it. Those are the scariest it. ones. So basically, this girl is walking through her house, and then she looks in the mirror, and this happens. <laughs> Heck no. And she didn't do the dishes. Okay. Oh, that's a demon right behind you, girl. It's over. I'm sorry, girl. Cancel Christmas, cancel Hanukkah, and you can cancel Kwanzaa. Look at this. A girl behind your back. I mean, she probably brushing your hair. That's insane, man. I mean, I don't know whose cousin that is behind you, but uh, <clears throat> you might want to uh, skip the next family reunion. I went to a carnival today. Today we're going to be talking about Your one mama? of the most dangerous oh. rides you can ride at one. Okay. Now, either you've been on this ride or you've seen one at at least one point in your life by now. Now, you are never supposed to ride this ride alone for safety purposes. Mm -hmm. Basically, two adults or three kids can fit into these little cage thingies you yeah. see. The whole ride spins while the cages spin continuously. This ride has been revised many times. In the beginning, the main issue was that the cages spun too fast. So that was changed. And there was a problem with the latching system. Changed again. In 2006, the ride had yet again another incident. Two teenage girls fell out of it. I've even had a pretty scary experience on this ride. Let me know if you guys have been on this in the comments. Uh, yeah, no, I definitely have not. Mm -mm. Now I've been on a dang Ferris wheel, that Ferris wheel at Disneyland, California Adventure. Now the whole Ferris wheel is going in a circle, but the carts that I was in was going like this the whole time, like just swinging. That, mm -mm. And then when you're at the top, just looking all the way down, I dang near peed and pooped my pants at the same dang time. I bet you did the same thing too, huh, Ashley? What was her name? Ashley? Okay. Disturbing things caught by drones. This 2014 drone footage shows the desolate area of the Chernobyl power station where the disaster took place. As the drone turns around, an animal that could be either a deer or a moose can be seen crossing the road. It ain't got a head. Bushes. While at first the video could appear innocent, slowing down the video speed will reveal that the animal has no head, likely as a result of the radiation. What? It's and this thing drone. only got one this eye. Ew, this is nasty. That's trippy. Why the heck would that and or like maybe his head's just like really flat? Maybe it's a goat. It's a goat with like a small head or something. I don't know. How in the heck is that animal just moving without a head? I mean, like, gee, what just reflexes? Now apparently there's like animals that do do that. Like cockroaches without a head, they can still move around. Chickens without heads can still move around. Not that they're consciously doing it, but a lot of it's just, you know, muscles that are just like, you know, just moving. Frogs after they've been cooked, like still move the legs sometimes. It's gross. Oh, what the, what in the ba da ba 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 is going on here? <laughs> Ronald McDonald, go away. That Boobs McGee, back off. This is, okay, all right, wow. I swear, I ain't never gonna eat a Big Mac ever again. Like, look at this. Girl, you look like your face exploded. Like, what the heck happened? It legit looks like you got electrocuted, ran over, and somebody threw paint all over you. If this girl greets me at the McDonald's drive-thru, guess what? I'ma keep on driving. Oh, Just chilling all alone. Oh, bro. See, that's why at night, I close my blinds, man. Close your blinds, and it's gone. Now it's gone, bro. White people investigating. Yep, you better close that window, lock your doors, close the blinds, and turn the alarm on. The heck are you doing, man? Oh, yeah, well, he didn't make it. We all know good and well. We've seen this movie before. This man definitely didn't make it. Mm -mm. If you got that thing outside your window, you think some blinds are gonna stop it? It's getting inside whether you like it or not. What could that be? What is that? Dang! 
Hey! What kind of sea monster is going? Oh, jeez. That thing looks like a giant crab leg. Guys, comment down below and please let me know what the heck this is. Is it a whale heart? Like whale arteries or something? We truly know nothing about what is in our oceans. Yeah, no, we definitely do not. But we are still doing research. But apparently we've only discovered like 5%, 10% of the entire ocean. So there's a whole lot out there that we don't know. I mean, there could be mermaids out there. There could be some aliens. Under the water. And this thing just looks like somebody just threw it up after breakfast. It's nasty, man. And his beak will fit through. And you watch, he's gonna go right through there. Watch him. Are you watch serious? Him when he hits the water, he'll turn. Uh, he'll turn. He'll turn bone white. He, he's gonna feel the water. That's and he's nasty. Go towards the water. See, there he goes. <gasps> it's gonna be cool. You see that spot? No way. How the heck? You are wrong, my friend. You're kidding. No. He could just squeeze. They do say octopuses are escape artists. Oh man, going for it. Octopuses, octopode. Right and watch, he'll change color too. He is just uh. Ew. Way through. Ew. Yeah. You look like a parasite. Popping through. Yeah. What the heck? Dang, that's just nasty, man. How the heck did you squeeze all the way through? Ugh. Bro, <laughs> your body gross. Oh my God. It just squeezed right through like it was nothing. Are you bleeding? <laughs> There's his nose. He's just all the way through it now. Is he? Just his nose, yeah. Hey! Ah, now it's gone. And then gets caught in the propeller. <laughs> but I got him. For our creepy oh, hello. Today, we are in the great country of Canada. Mm -hmm. And they're asking 800,000 Canadian dollars for this place. Canadian and honestly, dollars? pictures just don't do it justice. So we're going to do the 3D tour. I am already scared, but let's take a look. Yes. This place feels familiar to me. Like maybe it's a stage in Resident Evil or something. So as you head down the hallway, they have this little workshop area. They workshop. also just have this unfinished room. And they also have the first bathroom where That's it looks nasty. like you might need a tetanus shot before entering. Moving on from the bathroom, I could not help but notice this area right here. I'm no blood spatter expert, but this is alarming, to All say right, the least. Dexter. From there, we can go up the stairs and take a peek in one of the bedrooms. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nothing too crazy about this, just, again, very dirty floors and walls. From there, we have the second bedroom, and maybe it's just me, but for some reason, when I see the stains on the walls where the picture frames used to be mm -hmm. is a big creep factor. Ew. Moving on from there, we have the second bathroom. <laughs> Somebody definitely had their organs harvested. What is this? In the bathtub. No doubt in my mind whatsoever. Ew! And right across from the bathroom, we have the kitchen, where it looks like somebody was dragged while being on fire. And the kitchen then connects to the living area. All from the living area is this nice little balcony and nope. this beautiful stone fireplace Heck no. and also just this area where it looks like somebody decomposed you know good and well somebody was murdered in that house mm -mm. and you want eight hundred thousand dollars i mean come on for that the nastiness y'all will be lucky to get eight dollars out of me my boy i ain't paying that much for that house Ew, there's blood all over it and why would you post it and sell it and be like oh yeah you can get this house but there's still blood on the toilet seat i'm gonna need y'all to clean all of that up before i even consider buying that house and we all know it's haunted okay but yeah this girl she kind of cute by the way so yeah, Bobby Curtis Lee, if you see this video, um, hey, I'm just kidding. I mean, I'm not kidding, but okay, okay. <gasps> actual footage of an actual demonic possession in 1896. How the heck did you get footage in 1896? There weren't cameras back then. You crazy? I'm just kidding. Ah, uh, oh, what was that? It's just, it's crawling up with one hand. That's some Spider-Man skills right there. Girl, you need to join the Avengers. And you just gonna drop, just zoop, sorry, bye. That was me. What's the problem? Did that other person steal your boyfriend? You gotta stop dropping people off the edge of high buildings just because like, you know, you don't like them. What happened to the good old days where people would, uh, I don't know, slap each other, you know, not climb to the top of a church and then drop people off the edge. Scary things found in deep forest, Quebec forest, okay. Breathing ground? 
This ground's alive. That's crazy. U.S. National Forest, okay. Mysterious staircase. Yeah, those are the ones that you do not go up or down. I mean, like, you see a staircase in the middle. What's the point? Who put that there? Were you going to build a house, but you decided to start with the staircase first? Are you crazy? This staircase is definitely haunted, okay? I mean, where does that lead to? Nowhere. The point of stairs is to get somewhere. Like this, the only thing you gonna get is vitiligo. Wait, no, uh, vertigo, yeah. <laughs> Cursed games you should never play. Part five, the man in the fields game. This game will grant you physical and financial protection for the rest of your years. Huh. To play this game, you'll have to go into your backyard at nine o'clock. Once you're there, you'll say the words, but who will scare the crows away? Your mom. You'll whisper this seven times and you should hear a voice responding. That's not your biggest problem. This has officially started the game. Next, you'll go into your house. You'll find a room that has only one door. This will be your safe room. Once you leave this room, you'll notice that everything that can be opened in your house will be. Doors, cabinets, bags, containers, everything. Now you have until midnight. Your job is to close everything in your house. Throughout this game, you'll see a shadowy man dressed in farmer's clothes. This is not the man in the fields. Think of him as like a referee. Uh. But if you even look into the backyard, even accidentally, you'll see a scarecrow that was not there before. If you see him, he also sees you. Once he sees you, he'll start to walk towards you. You need to get to your safe room as soon as possible. But if you close everything by midnight, go to sleep until 6 a.m. This will end the game and you will have won. Uh, what the heck? What kind of crazy game is that? Mm -mm. Bro, I'm not playing, man. I'm not doing it. I bet you I'll stick to Monopoly and I'm gonna be putting houses, hotels, motels, and holiday inns on all of those properties. And bro, you look weird when we freeze frame. Mm -hmm. If you see another person that looks identical to you, run away and hide. If you see a person that has a biologically impossible characteristic, run away and hide. Oh, oh, okay. The back rooms. That's creepy, man. Ah! This girl, oh man, you know she's somebody's ex-girlfriend. This girl looks like she will break a window just for fun. I don't know who you are or where you came from, but guess what? <clears throat> you gotta get out. All right, what are we doing, man? We're making some balloons, okay? Blow it up, that's what she said, yep. Bro. Wednesday Adams, bro. That's a pretty dang good job, my boy. But uh, yeah, uh, sorry, I ain't paying for it. Not today. That thing looks like it will haunt whoever owns it. But I bet you I'll pop that balloon real quick. Oh, but hey, could have been worse. But yeah, go ahead, click on the screen and watch another one. Yeah, man.